And now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. And welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Great program today. On the hotline with us now is Mike Holsom. Mike leads the Advanced Auto Parts Fuel Sales Team for Johnson Controls, providing battery products and retail commercial solutions. And as loyal Car Clinic listeners and viewers know, Johnson Controls is the company that developed power frame grid technology for automotive batteries. A 34-year veteran employee at Johnson Controls, Mike spent over 20 years in various field sales and training roles supporting product initiatives for the USA Canada Retail Business Unit. Prior to his field roles, Mike held positions in marketing and project management, and he's two-time recipient of Johnson Controls Chairman's Award for Excellence. That's no small feat, folks. Mike, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Glad to have you in the house. Well, thanks, Bobby. Thanks for inviting me. Let's remind our Car Clinic listeners and viewers why the grid in a battery is so important. Well, you know, of all the components of a battery, the, you know, the positive grid is really the backbone of the battery. That's your, you know, where your performance comes from. And basically, the positive grid is the delivery system for electrical energy. You know, the better your positive grid design and process, the better your battery is going to be. But it's also very essential to the recovery of the battery after discharge. That battery goes through a number of discharge cycles. It's important for that battery to recover through the charge process. So that positive grid gets compromised by corrosion and that eventually leads to the battery's failure. And some of the leading causes of this corrosion are the repetitive cycling of the battery in high electrical demand applications because that battery has to deliver the power and it has to recover. But also, when you think about the high heat that's under the engine or in the engine compartment these days, you know, that high ambient temperature actually contributes to the corrosion of the positive grid. So the power frame technology is designed to address these stress points of the battery and making that battery up to 66% more corrosion resistant than other grid technologies. So, Mike, how long has power frame grid technology been available in consumer vehicle batteries? Well, power frame technology has been around for over 15 years and being developed through a lot of field testing using taxi cab fleets in Las Vegas. That real-life testing in, in a taxi cab fleet gives you an accelerated look at the life expectancy of the battery and the performance. Uh, it's basically been in production now for over 10 years in the aftermarket. You know, we talk about, of course, the underhood temperatures, and that's sort of a, a real problem source for batteries. But what about vibration? How does the power frame grid technology help combat the effects of vibration and the shaking that goes on under the hood of an automobile? Well, as, you know, we all, we all drive a lot of highways that have potholes, and, and we're susceptible to a lot of impacts so that vibration impact, uh, you know, affects the battery in a lot of detrimental ways. One is, uh, it, you know, the active material or paste on the grid uh, sh will shed off, uh, you know, through the vibration of the battery. That will impact the capacity of the battery and, and eventually the life of the battery. But I also mentioned, you know, the corrosion uh, aspect of the battery as the grids start to wear and weaken. Vibration can fracture areas of the grid that show signs of fatigue. And that can lead to short circuits and also diminished capacity of the battery. That, you know, the power frame manufacturing process of, of rolling and compressing the lead composite of the grid, it leads to the resistance of that corrosion and metal fatigue. And then you have the reinforced frame of the grid that protects against warping, and that also leads to short circuits. You know, the patented stamping and coining process it uh, reduces the pace shedding during vibration, and it ensures consistent performance. We're talking with Mike Holsom at Johnson Controls, developers of the power frame grid technology. You hear me consistently share with you on our Saturday Car Connect programs. Mike, uh, in what way do power frame, and you mentioned the manufacturing process, what about the manufacturing plants? I understand that the power frame grid technology plants operate 20% or, or shed 20% fewer greenhouse gases than a normal plant. How, how is that? Well, the power frame technology is a step away from the cast grid manufacturing process. You know, the cast grid uh, process involves melting lead, so that can be poured into molds. And that process of melting the lead contributes to releasing gases into the environment. With the power frame technology and the power frame process, 
that lead is, is rolled as opposed to melted, and it's rolled into a lead strip, and that's, that strip is then stamped into a grid. All that material punched out of the grid is then recycled, reducing waste and the gases. So this process eliminates up to 20% of greenhouse gases during the manufacturing process. Yeah, I'd like to back up just if I could, Mike. You mentioned paste, and in the process, I, I heard the stamping as, a, as compared to the regular book mold of a standard battery. How does the paste get applied, or is it literally a paste, or is it just the surface of the grid technology? Well, it is a paste that gets applied to the grid in the process. Uh, and what it does, it, you know, think of just uh, spreading like butter on bread. It, it gets spread out on the, the grid itself, and the power frame technology with that patented uh, stamping and coining process gives you precise angles in the structure of the grid itself, which helps hold on to the grid or the paste on the grid, which helps extend the life of that battery. So then it is the positive grid of a battery that gets all the action or delivers all the current? It does. That is the, that is the backbone of the battery. That is where your performance comes from, and that's where your, your highest percentage of battery failures is going to occur is in the positive grid. Well, I do have power frame grid technology battery in my vehicle, but for our car connect listeners and viewers, how would you share with them and determine which brand aftermarket battery uses the power frame grid technology and, and where to find those batteries? Well, currently, power frame can be found in batteries sold by advanced auto parts stores in their CarQuest locations. Uh, you just If you're visiting an Advance or a CarQuest, just look for the power frame logo on the label of the battery. Uh, at Advance, you'll find that in their, in their premium uh, gold and platinum lines. And at CarQuest, it's in their silver, gold, and platinum lines. Uh, the customer can also go to powerframe.com, and they can find the nearest retailer that carries power frame. Thank you. Mike Holzem at Johnson Controls, developers of the power frame grid technology for automotive batteries. Mike, thank you so much for joining us on Car Clinic today. Uh, great information, and I learned a lot. I know that our Car Clinic listeners and viewers did as well. Thanks again for joining us today. Well, thanks, Bobby, for having me. I appreciate it.